It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's a misty, almost rainy day here in Qingdao, China. And I'm on my rooftop on my building. Let me show you. So China is the world's biggest kept secret. Yes, I hear you in the comment section already. What the hell do you mean by that? Well, first off, I want to start by telling you my story, right? So I was in Thailand for three years before I came to China. And you know, when I landed a job here in China, I was so skeptical. And I heard all the stories about China. You know, the streets are so dirty. The Chinese people will lie to you. Um, it's such a bad country. There's a lot of stuff happening there that we see in the news and all oh, you, you know, don't go there. Anyway, I just decided I'm going to hop onto a plane and I'm going to move over to China to go check it out myself. Because I am one of those people that don't really believe what I see in the news. As I landed in China, I got into a taxi and we drove through this big city. And I was so, so amazed with all this lights this infrastructure, buildings around me, people all over the street. There was lights all over. I can remember, I was like, wow, the streets are so clean in this place. So this taxi took me to an apartment. I didn't know anything about China. As I got out of that taxi, there was like three people waiting there from my company with gifts. And I can remember they showed me to my apartment. They got my internet installed. They even did my bedding for me prior my arrival. Man, I was treated like a king. So the first day they just told me to relax for a couple of days to get used to the city, walk around, go out, go eat, go do whatever I want. Basically a small holiday before I start work. I remember my first day on the job. As I got there, my boss and the whole staff crew got me a cake. They welcomed me like if I'm a goddamn celebrity. Instantly, I felt a connection to China because I'm a friendly guy. If people come visit me, I'm always like that. And yes, five years later, and I'm still here in China. And I can promise you guys, I'm not leaving this country real soon. So here's where I want to talk about China as the world's biggest kept secret. I bet you guys hear that China is a dirty place. Well, it's exactly the opposite. China is one of the cleanest countries in the world. If it gets to their streets, their buildings, their malls, their restaurants, even their wet markets. Oh, and I hear you guys down in the comment section already. China's got pollution. Listen, every country's got pollution. But if you use your mind, you can move to different cities here in China and you can get yourself a cool city where there's not really pollution, like here in Qingdao. What you see right here, this is not pollution. It's going to rain real soon. Yes, I hear you guys down in the comment section already. Jerry, a foreigner can't buy property in China. Well, that's not true. Because here's the thing. If you get to China, you're a single guy and you fall in love with a Chinese girl. You get married to her. You guys can buy an apartment. The apartment is on the wife's name. But if you marry, obviously, you're going to sign a 50-50% of all assets contract. So yeah, there you have your property as a foreigner. Now, here's the thing I want to talk to you guys about business. China loves business. They are so open to foreigners starting businesses here. And that is also not really hard. Here's the deal. You come to China, you start off as a teacher, you save up money, you stay here for like three years, get to know the country, get to know the system, invest money into a business, and bam, you as a foreigner are legally here in China owning a business. The Western world will never tell you guys about this. Now, back to my story real quick. I can remember when I earned 6,000 RMB back in the day, five years ago in my job. I was like, wow, I live like a king and I save 50% of my salary. If you meet the requirements, you have all the documents and you can move to China and start a teaching career here, I promise you guys you can land a job of 15,000 RMB a month. You can save 10,000 RMB easily a month and you can live like a king as well. So what is so cool about China? The buildings, the lights, the skyscrapers, the underground, the bus systems, the people walking on the streets, how clean it is in the cities, how big the cities are, how easy it is to get from one point to another here for cheap. 
Traveling inside China domestically is super cheap via high-speed train, aeroplanes. Man, everything is just simple and so futuristic in China. Oh, and the nightlife in China is off the charts. Well, I'm not really a clubbing and party guy anymore, but the other day I went to the bar to have a couple of beers and I met an American dude. We were sitting in the bar having a beer talking and he told me his story how we got to China. So this man started off by telling me how much he hated China and all this news that he saw in the media and all the stuff he read about China, everything just kept him away from China for years and years. And yeah, he was miserable in America. So one day, unfortunately, he caught his wife cheating on him and this man was broken. So he basically pulled an impulsive decision move and he booked a ticket and he flew into China to come teach here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now seven years later and this dude is still here in China in the same city married to a Chinese wife, he's got three kids, he's got three businesses and three apartments. Oh, and he's driving a new Tesla. This guy basically started off with nothing. He was broken, he lost all his money, he gave it to his wife that cheated on him. He had nothing. He restarted his life here in China and that man is a walking success. Yes, again, I hear you guys down in the comment section. Oh, Jerry, but why don't you own a business? Well, I do. Me and my wife have a business on Taobao, which is Alibaba. That is the same as Amazon in America. But as I said, I'm still saving up money because I want to start a big shop downstairs from my community. And that is a secret. I will tell you guys what shop I'm starting real soon. In the end, ladies and gentlemen, China is not what you heard on the news or among people, all that stereotypical nonsense. That is not true about China. Follow this channel because I will show you the true China. So here's the conclusion. I believe China is the new American dream. Just feel that explore desire in your body. Hop onto a plane. If you have the real documents and if you qualify, get yourself into China. Come check it out for yourself. You will not make a mistake. And I promise you, you will not leave real soon. And yeah, as always, now it's your turn. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Tell me if you agree with me that China is the new American dream. Do you disagree with me? And I will respond to each and every comment I have down there. Now, while you're down there, go ahead, click the like button and the share and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. China is the new American dream.